Hello, I'm Jo Birtwistle, Editor-in-Chief at Accounting Web and your host for today, where we are going to talk through how to take the next step up the finance career ladder. This is one of two episodes around finance careers, which Accounting Web has produced in partnership with SAP Concur. SAP Concur is a cloud platform that helps businesses of all sizes effortlessly manage their expense, invoice and travel processes from anywhere. Find out more by heading over to their website at www.concur.co.uk. In today's session, we will explore the different finance career paths available and how the right tech skills are a key part of successful career development. So let's make a start by introducing our panelists. Welcome to Stuart McLean, who is Head of Finance and Corporate Planning at Brother UK. And also welcome to Ryan Demeray, who is SAP Concur's Managing Director for Small and Medium Businesses across Europe. Stuart, Ryan, thank you both for being here today. Um, I'm just going to start by asking each of you to briefly say hello and tell us what your business does and what then what you do within your businesses. Um, Stuart, if I can start with you. Yeah, thanks. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm Stuart McLean. I'm Head of Finance and Corporate Planning at Brother UK. Um, I've also been the leading on our finance transformation projects across Europe for the last two years as we've been transforming our organisation. Uh, many of you may know Brother um, as a printer manufacturer. We also still produce the sewing machines um, and I'm loath to admit it, we still or we used to support and be the sponsor for Manchester City on their shirts, which is not easy to say as a United fan. <laughs> Fab and Ryan. Yes, yeah, so uh, my name is Ryan Demmer. I'm the managing uh, director for our businesses in Europe. So I work with the teams that help uh, companies evaluate, select, implement, and adopt the Concur solution, which is focused on helping finance teams gain visibility and control over their spend, whether it's through corporate travel, employee expenses, or their vendor invoices. Thanks for having us, Joe. Brilliant. Thank you. Now, this is all about finance careers. So, Stuart, perhaps we can start by going through your own career, if you could break down your career progression for us and the path that you took, I think that'd be really helpful. Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, I actually started in Purchase Ledger uh, many, many moons ago, um, working actually in expenses, ironically enough. Um, so yeah, I started with Purchase Ledger, uh, started um, my studies as well with ACCA at the same time. Uh, I think it's quite a common route for people to uh, work and study particularly with whether it's ACCA or SEMA, et cetera, all the different uh, accounting qualifications. Um, as I progressed through the qualifications, kind of my skills and experience um, expanded, but only up to a point within Purchase Ledger, and then I kind of needed to push um, to gain more experience. So I fortunately had a very supportive manager at the time uh, who was quite happy to get me involved in other areas of uh, accounts and finance to kind of align with my studies, uh, which, which was you know, worth its weight in gold in terms of how it helped me to achieve those qualifications. Um, I then moved into management accounts uh, as a management accountant in, in earnest. Um, enjoyed that role, grew that role again, very similar, uh, took on extra skills and experience, um, learnt new, um, I suppose, took on uh, new areas of study through that role, uh, expanded my repertoire in terms of tax and VAT and kind of just learnt as much as possible. Uh, moved through several iterations of kind of management accounts roles uh, before becoming a finance manager. Um, and then went, went into team management, kind of developed myself in terms of the skill set there around um, working with teams and uh, motivating and leading teams. Um, and then flipped a little bit into projects, uh, particularly around finance transformation projects, um, and then moved back to Brother. Uh, as I've been employed here previously, moved back to Brother, and again here got involved in finance transformation projects, which then grew the role again um, up to the, the position I'm in now, leading the transformation across Europe. And how long have you been at Brother, Stuart? Sorry. Um, this second time I've been here uh, nearly six years, and I was here five years previously with a, about a four-year gap in between where I was uh, elsewhere. Right, okay, great. That's interesting. Um, right now, I've got a really big question for you both now. Um, it's, you know, we talked about your progression there, um, yeah. and it did feel it was quite a long and winding, winding road by yeah. the sounds of it. So how, it, how do you go from being that finance controller in an admin role to being a finance manager to director, and then potentially CFO or even CEO? Is there a typical tried and tested roadmap? 
Um, I wouldn't say there's a tried and tested roadmap, particularly not these days. It is becoming a lot more fluid in terms of that progression because we do see, uh, particularly out in, in the finance world, there's a lot a wider remit you can become involved in within finance, not just the core finance of a, you know, a more traditional role. So, yeah, I think it's, it's grown and developed in terms of there are a number of routes up to that level. Um, for me personally, it was kind of through projects and transformation that have led to that. But I know from, you know, counterparts in other businesses, they've done it in, in quite different ways through, obviously, depending on which organizations they're working in, um, through things like mergers and acquisitions and becoming involved in a lot of um, that area of the business. Or, um, you know, there's, there's various elements through uh, working for the big four. Some people have gone up through that way and then moved over into the more of the commercial world. So, yeah, there's not one tried and tested route that that works particularly better than any other. I think it's very adaptive and it, it it's more reflective of the organization you're working in as to what's the valued skills that are required. And I think it's for me, it was just paying attention to what was required from the, the roles and the, the businesses I was working in and putting myself in the position to be able to meet those needs and requirements. And that's kind of led to that career trajectory that I've, I've been very fortunate uh, to be on. Yeah. Well, sorry, Ryan, go ahead. Oh, I, would, I would just love to add here because we work with uh, lots of individuals like Stuart who are responsible for transforming businesses. And one of the things that I would see from my perspective here is their ability to make an impact on the business outcome. Whatever your business is focused on, your ability from any role to impact that is your ticket to move throughout that organization. And technology, tools like SAP Concur, give organizations and individuals fantastic opportunities to deploy technology that impacts the business. So yeah, it's very nonlinear. We work with individuals that have had several different roles now within an organization, and then they show up at different organizations. And technology is the tie that binds there. And I just wonder, are the timescales for progression changing as well you know are they does te is technology an enabler in terms of being able to perhaps shrink those timescales because you talked about bringing value to the business presumably with the use of technology and implementing that that means that you're able to bring that value sooner and and demonstrate your abilities better from my perspective, yes, um, but experience is still the thing everyone needs, but it's experience mm -hmm. with different things. So your experience mm -hmm. using a particular technology or tool may be greater than everyone else's because it's a newer technology. So experience still matters, but that's relative to the opportunity is what I would say, Joe. Okay, great. Um, and presumably upskilling, having the right up-to-date tech skills are important. What tech skills particularly what tech skills particularly are needed? What are you looking for, Stuart? Yeah, I think I think for us and for me personally, it's kind of around the, particularly the reporting and analytics side of things. As, as mm -hmm. Ryan was saying, you know, in terms of that, that move to digitization and that expectation, um, both from a company and, and from me as an individual, with, with the, the growth and um, almost explosive growth of those kind of solutions, uh, and the benefits they can bring to the business. It's me, it means everybody's expectations is, you know, you want live reporting in the morning. You don't, you don't want to wait a week for your reports anymore. You want it, you know, on your desk first thing in the morning and you want to be able to refresh it every hour on the hour or even every minute. You want it almost kind of like live. And, and I think that's trickling through to the expectations from the team that you have working with you as well is because you know that solution is, is in place. You know, same with things like Concur, SAP Concur, where you know you can view your expenses and run reports on what your costs are at any point in time. And you can see it in almost live time. You can identify issues. You can see and track trends. I think the expectation is, is really very much geared towards a much quicker turnaround. And I think that's flowing through into the expectations, as you mentioned, Joe, in terms of people's expectations to move more quickly whether that be progression in a business or whether that be actually in terms of the results and the benefits they're able to and the value add they can bring to the business, uh, as Ryan mentioned. Great. So where would you advise people invest their time to support their career development? I would say I would say definitely in terms of becoming familiar with those solutions, especially the most common used solutions. You know, ERP, ERP systems like SAP is one of those obvious um, very well used, very well recognized solutions across, uh, not just in Europe, but globally. Uh, same with SAP Concur. 
Uh, but I think any any such system, whether it's anything from kind of your accounts payables, your accounts receivables, through to your management accounting, and even on to reporting with um, you know the, the, the main common systems, uh, that kind of technological and digitization experience, that's where the future lies, and that's where you can add most value to a business. Um, and as Ryan said previously, the more value add you can bring to the business, the more your career trajectory can kind of accelerate. And Joe, can I answer that question from a, a, a slightly different answer? Um, from what Stu said, I think adding value is really important. Reporting is great, but how you tell the story. How do you ask a big question and then provide the data in a visual way that gives you information to make some decisions, right? So make yourself technologically proficient, but be able to tell the story that gets the business where it wants to go. It's a big deal. Great, okie dokie. And I'm just thinking about your own journey, Stuart, back to you again, mm. and what, where you got some support and advice with a certain forums mm. that you went to, were the, you know, who did you lean on to get that support as to what step to take next and, you know, yeah. what path to go on? Yeah. Um, yeah, there was, there was a, quite a few forums I used to look at. You know, Accounting Web was one of them. I uh, used to look at <laughs> publication quite regularly and read some, of the, you know, some very interesting articles uh, that helped me along the way. Um, and I think also I, I was fortunate enough that I was able to establish a really strong relationship with a business mentor who was a, a finance director already um, in a, a very similar business. Um, so I was very fortunate to kind of meet and link in with that person. Um, and the, the kind of insight and advice they were able to give me over the years in terms of that career path, um, not just in terms of that kind of long term career path, but also short term and medium term goals as well. That was really invaluable and i would recommend if, if anybody has the the opportunity to engage with a business mentor in their chosen field whether that's finance or any other area i think it's well worth it if you're able to take advantage of that um i would certainly recommend it it, it helped me an awful lot i would say so as well i mean i am not a finance professional but i, th I don't think you can understate the value mm -hmm. of mentors yeah. um and they don't necessarily even have to be maybe more so in finance but i would say for me, they don't even necessarily have to be in the same sector as you, yeah. um, but it can definitely bring clarity. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I would, I would definitely add to that. Um, what about soft skills? I'm guessing that they're increasingly in the demand, in demand in the profession, and there's always a question mark around whether or not that's something that can be taught. What are your thoughts? So from my perspective, I would say soft skills are critically important. You'll see loads of articles talking about senior executives and how the rise of people management is out there. Um, and they can be taught. I think you've talked about mentors, you've talked about you know colleagues who will help you. As long as you state your intentions and you're open to feedback, people will be happy to provide it. My advice to you is focus on stories. How can you use personal experiences and stories from your own life that translate? Everyone wants to deal with people they like and become a likable person through stories is a great way to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd agree with everything Ryan says, and I think I'd add to it as well, uh, particularly in, in the, the present economic climate we're, we're facing. I think there's a lot of change in business. So I think the, the change management is obviously a, a key focus and being able to have that, that, that communication skill is, is vitally important. I think will only become more and more important um, as that's one of the cornerstones, I believe, of, of any change management program is that, that effective and continual communication. So I think, yeah, that's a, a vital skill that's only been, going to become more important as time progresses. Okay, now ideally you don't have to na navigate all of this on your own and you're right we have talked about mentors but hopefully you could get some of that um, career direction and help and support from the finance leaders within mm. your business to place you're working currently. Mm. Stuart, how do you internally develop and progress your employees careers and does tech like SAP Concur help you with that? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's helped actually with, um, we've got a really good example actually quite recently where um, with SAP Concur um, as, we, as I mentioned, we'd rolled out the, the solution across Europe for all our European offices. We'd also very recently taken advantage of the, the outsourced audit function that Concur offer, where they actually audit your claims and check your receipts, etc. where previously we'd had an employee doing that almost as a full-time job, um, but while she was also studying as well. So what we were able to do was actually 
as we outsourced that workload um, out to Concur, we were able to find more value add she could bring into the business, looking at, again, more reporting, more analysis, um, more cost, of cost reduction, identification, et cetera, which, again, aligned with her studies. Um, and actually, you know, in the very recent times, in the last, uh, last month, actually, she was promoted to a, a new position within our organization as a management accountant off the back of that, that transition that we've been able to make. And, and again, without a solution like that, being able to underpin us, being able to offer more more engaging work and more kind of work that's aligned to her studies, we, we'd perhaps not have been in the fortunate position where she'd have been experienced enough and qualified enough to actually undertake that management accounting role. But actually we were able to, and that's something, again, we're very keen on in Brother is that kind of internal promotion. It's something we do quite often where we can. Um, so yeah, it was a really nice uh, thing to be able to offer somebody that, that opportunity. Oh, what a lovely example. That's great. So, guys, I'm going to ask you for your final thoughts, any conclusions or anything specifically that you'd like to make as a final point to leave our viewers with? Well, I think for me, if you're talking about how to build your career and climb the finance ladder, it's about making an impact, right? Find a outcome that your business is marching towards. Look at the area you sit in today and find a way to go contribute towards that. And if it can use technology, all the betters that will serve you for the rest of your career. Great. Ah, that, 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 sorry, that's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> I was going to go that. Like, just, yeah, find, find a way you can add value to your business. That, that will do you the world of good. Um, right, okay. Uh, well, that's a, we'll, we'll double underline that point then, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. put a star next to it. In yeah. that case, if you if you've both thought of the same thing, then that's a, yeah. a super valid point, isn't it? Yeah. But great. Thank you both so much. Okay, I'll sign off by saying thanks again to Stuart and Ryan. And a final thank you to SAP Concur for working with Accounting Web on this project. Don't forget we have another episode to watch too. That one hones in on what really matters to finance professionals, what they want and increasingly expect from a role and the company that they work for. Thanks again, everyone, and goodbye. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Stuart. Thanks, Bye. everybody. Bye.